Alrighty, howdy, 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 my beautiful Libra. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for October. It's Libra season now. Happy birthday, beautiful. All right, let's get into your daily tarot reading today. Be sure when you're consuming your tarot readings on YouTube today, Libra, check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, not just your one zodiac sign. As well, in the top right corner, you'll see a link to your monthly tarot reading. Check it out and let me know in the comments below how it resonates with you. All right, if you enjoy this tarot reading today, it gives you some clarity, Libra. All right please give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out quite a bit and i always appreciate it all right so let's begin your tarot reading here today libra with the seven of wands in the back of the deck for you this is really interesting libra all right i feel like this is like a message of where you're catching the like i don't feel like you're catching the attention libra because i feel like you've maintained this attention here it's the sense libra of where i feel like there's a lot of eyes on you at this time it feels like people are observing you libra it feels as if like i'm gonna be very honest here when i see the seven of wands especially because of the seven of swords here in the uh, as well it gives me this sense of where you might be having like some haters watching you people that have been hoping for you to fail i get this message of people that were part of your journey at one point in time libra but then you had to walk away from them ten of swords going into that six of swords right so it's the sense Libra where it's like you had to walk away from certain people in your life, certain situations that were just, they were just toxic to you, Libra, right? The situations were very toxic to you. I feel like for you, you couldn't really deal with the noise anymore. Your past started guiding you to doing something else. Your path started changing where they were no longer involved, Libra, right? And so in your eyes, I don't feel like there's too many hard feelings for you. Like, I feel like you're just out here living your life, right? I feel like things are really starting to pick up in a beautiful way for you. You're coming out of a pretty rough period. I see this as Libra, right? A lot of struggle, betrayal. I even see with the seven of swords here. Maybe it's been a lot of things at once. You're dealing with like some social relationship issues, Libra, but at the same time, you're dealing with your own personal issues, right? Whenever I see a bunch of air cards, I always associate that with like mental health, right? It's a lot of things you've been kind of forced to having to shed, Libra. You're coming into your season very humble, I feel, where you're going to be, I wanted to say the word graduating here even as well. I get like the sense of like, you're gonna be graduating here. Like on your birthday, you're gonna be like a completely different person than how you started this year as because you're having to, you've had to shed so much. I feel like for you, yeah, six of cups coming in here. I was trying to, you'll probably, you probably even notice Libra, I was trying to like move on from the energy of like having like the haters or people that you've had to disconnect from in the past because i was just like all right i don't really like uh talking about uh x energy and past energy right x friendships and all that right because it's just like they're not relevant to your future libra i see so much happening for you in the future uh and we'll get into that with your oracle cards here so stick around for that because we'll get into some really deep detail but it's like i really wanted to avoid it but six of cups that's the card of the past you really have people from your past libra i wouldn't be surprised if you start hearing from some people all right in various ways you might be having someone trying to reach contact with you from someone that you had to walk away from again it's like this sense of where libra i feel like you wouldn't even expect it. it's like someone who hurt you really bad because i feel like they were part of this 10 10 and seven of swords experience libra where I don't want to say there's resentment on your side, but it's just like you really took a note of how hurt, like I feel like there's a lot of valid hurt or pain that you felt towards the situation and you're just like, eh, like why are you coming back in here now? Let's clarify this with tarot. Nine of wands coming in here, seven of swords coming right back out, two of swords here, two of pentacles coming in here in the back of the deck, Libra. All right. And so here's the thing. I feel like you're being tested, Libra. We're beginning your season with a test, essentially. All right. And what I mean by this is that you're going to be tested by old temptations, old patterns that were no longer serving you anymore, especially old people that you walked away from at one point in time. All right. Spirits testing you right before your birthday, Libra, and seeing if you're ready for the next stage, seeing if you're ready, if you truly have grown and developed and you have Libra. All right. So you get the benefit of having like the cheat codes, right? Knowing that you're about to be having that pop quiz. A pop quiz is no longer intimidating when you know that it's actually coming, right, Libra? So you're about to be tested here. Do you pass the test or not? I feel like you passed the test. I feel like for you, you're looking at these situations that were from the past 
you appreciate it for what it was at its time libra i feel but its time has moved on now it's like whatever this energy is it's like no hard feelings but you just don't want to go through that uh, that ride again right yeah death card coming in here you just moved on libra i feel like you're checked out from the situation so we'll move on from that energy here let's take a look at what it is that you're manifesting what projects are you personally working on here libra this message was really important for you to hear absolutely because i feel like it's just important for you to know that this test is coming as long as you don't take anything back from the past you can fall back into old habits old ways libra i see something really bright so what's what is this brightness that i'm noticing here I mean, naturally, Libra, we pulled the Nine of Cups right afterwards, okay? The Nine of Cups wishes being granted here. October feels like a month for you where it's like things are finally coming, falling into place for you. Here's that Six of Cups coming right back out. Why is this Six of Cups here? Let's clarify this before we go any deeper here because I made its appearance from beforehand, all right? Eight of Pentacles here and then the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Interesting, Libra knight of swords here <sighs> all right firstly this is like okay libra i feel like someone's really not wanting to give up on you without without a fight libra so just like a heads up on this, this is kind of like an obsessive energy where it's like someone can't accept the fact that you're moving on away from them I get like this sense as well, like you're feeling drawn to going no contact with somebody, maybe a family member on something in that manner. You know, it just keeps coming back in, Libra, truly. All right. If we're going to just read this in terms of objectives for you, Libra, uh, overall, I like this energy quite a bit for you. The Knight of, Pent Knight of Swords represents a lot of unexpected events happening at a quick pace. That Eight of Pentacles represents a card of up leveling as well. So it is the sense of where October is a month for you, where it's like a lot of th moving parts happening, but all the moving parts are serving to a higher good here, right? Again, to have that Ten of Swords coming in here, you could see this as symbolizing the sense of like what's coming right after this pain, what's coming after this chapter for you, uh, Libra, right? So really, really, really beautiful cards here uh, for what's manifesting for you. Let's do one last one here. Eight of Wands. All right, Libra. So I feel like this is a little bit further out in the future for you. I'm going to adjust my camera here. <clears throat> There we go. So I feel like this is a little bit further out for you, Libra. All right, with the state of wands, but this is a card to travel. I see you on a path towards traveling here for work, I hear. For work, or it's like a business connection here. All right, someone makes you travel. All right, someone makes you travel. Someone pays for something for you to travel. You might be like, are you talking to someone online, Libra? I get this sense of like something long distance being closed off by like travel. And what I mean this by this, it's like either some type of a long distance relationship or you meet someone online that you close the distance with. And when you meet them, Libra, uh, it's a, it seems to be like really rewarding for you. Yeah. Ten of Cups. If you are if you meet someone online, Libra, I'm not going to be surprised if you quickly make plans to connect with them in person, closing the gap and building something, building like a future with them, Libra. All right. I really see that for you. Like the, I truly, that's like such a specific random message. I did not anticipate <laughs> like whatsoever. But since we're already in this tone, Libra, right, I can't escape the social aspect of this. If it's going to if if it wants to be said honey it wants to be said so let's continue on with your social portion of your life all right this could be past present or future uh, situation that we're tapping into all right platonic romantic or family so we have the ace the knight as well as queen of pentacles here all earth energy virgo taurus uh capricorn doesn't have to be related though this is all just earth energy ah I feel like this is energy of what's coming towards you, Libra. I do feel like this is connected to your previous cards here. All right. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but when it gets to its destination, it's fabulous. You... Mm, okay i see the what this is libra it's one in two ways here i feel like it's 50 50 split either this is an energy that you don't know or if you do know this energy it's like very acquaintance like you haven't gotten to get to know each other very much yet it's like y'all's paths crossed you start talking a little bit but nothing really substantial yet i feel like that's going to change here in the coming days it takes a little bit longer for this person to warm up libra i hear but once once they warm up to you once they actually start connecting to you they oh there's like a very tender giving side to them libra 
all right there is this sense here where it's like i feel like you attract someone that i don't know if i would put it into these words or if they would even put it into these words here because i don't know if that's really their intention but it's like there's this message here where it's like someone wants to come in just to like take care of you or to like help you and i know that can kind of sound like weird and be like girl what kind of sugar daddy sugar mama situation are you trying to imply velka i really don't mean it in that way but i feel like i don't know there's something with your energy libra that's like making that's like making some type of energy gravitate towards you to assist you in some way i don't know yeah queen of wands coming in here seven of pentacles coming in with the king of swords here libra queen of cups even in the back of the deck here yeah you're definitely drawing some emotion out in people libra be paying attention i mean naturally during your season right i would be saying honey right off the bat libra like it seems like you're like people are going to be really by like uh spoiling you when it comes to your birthday i definitely can say that for sure but truly libra like it feels like this season people are kind of seeing you in a different way they're kind of there there is a strong attraction towards you libra and when i say attraction it doesn't just immediately romance mean romance but i feel like people are really attracted to your character attracted to your passion because i see you as this king of swords with this queen of wands here it's like you have insane intelligence libra but you also are such a free spirit. It's you. It's this very interesting combination with you, Libra, where it's like you have like the beautiful aspect of just like the like book smarts, the intelligence, like beautiful. Like when you speak, people listen. But also you have the Queen of Wands playing off with this energy where it's like it takes away the serious tone. It makes you more interesting, hard to figure out. It's like when you walk into a room, Libra, I feel like you really motivate people. All right. You probably have gotten compliments in the past, Libra, of where it's like people feel so comfortable being around you or feel empowered being being around you. That's why people are just wanting to gravitate to you more. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like something's in the air. Something's in the season right now for you, Libra. That's like, especially right now, like people are like not only being attracted to you, but I feel like really building up the courage to, to approach you with this as well. But enough of that, Libra. Let's get into your oracle cards today, your oracle reading, see what your all your cards say. Starting out with the moon ones. You have working through your fears and it's time to take action. New moon and Scorpio and Aries, Libra. It's time to take action working through your fears, Libra. Where are you holding yourself back? I feel like there's this message here, Libra, where it's like you're so afraid of being vulnerable when I feel like vulnerability is the key to progression for you in your life, Libra. All right. Where where are you? What fears do you have that feel so relevant to you that it's like holding you back from going forward in life here? Let's see. Let's just confirm this. Yeah. Fear swords here. Are you afraid of pain? Are you trying to do damage control in your life by like instead of like you're trying to do damage control in your life Libra by not taking any chances by not putting yourself out there by not connecting to anyone in the future well guess what Libra by you trying to protect your, your heart and uh, avoid pain you still end up being pained in the like in the long run because you close your heart out to new connections here so spirit is really calling you out to Libra where it's just like spirit's really going to be making you feel uncomfortable in these coming days here they're really going to be pushing your boundaries but in a positive way here because it's time for you there's definitely love in the air for you Libra there's definitely Definitely love in the air. There's definitely strong potential in you being able to uh, have like a deep connection with someone new where you can be vulnerable with them here. But you have to be able to receive it, Libra. But you can't be so obsessed with like protecting yourself from any pain. As much as I understand it, Sterling Libra. Speaking as a fellow Libra, you have the magician's sword. All right. Confidence in your magic as well as the crossing initiation for you, Libra. All right. So I definitely feel like for you, for one, your number is number one and nine still equaling to one. So, yeah, number one is definitely your message, your number for this week, Libra in numerology. All right. Look that up later on. But the number one is associated with the magician card. All right. And so really focusing in on the magician sword here. Really at this time, Libra, October seems to be a month of where you can make a big impact on your life here that's what i feel like october could be a month of where you really create something powerful for you for your birthday here again i kind of got this sense of like transformative energy for you libra and just some major uh energy happening for you all right and i feel like you are the wielder of it all right i feel like you have been going through an initiation process for a while and by the time your birthday comes 
that'll be like the coming of age. It's going to, I feel like your birthday this year is going to be meaning so much more than normal birthdays, Libra. You have a panda card coming in, a panda, the panda animal spirit coming in for you, creating a sacred space for yourself, Libra, in your home and or of your workplace here. I feel like you're getting more connected to, to the divine. I wouldn't even be surprised, Libra, as well, if uh, your purpose in life or your motivation uh, towards success or towards whatever your personal development right now is more spiritually inclined. I feel like you are slowly living, starting to live a life, Libra, of where you are in spiritual alignment with your purpose, with being of service to the world. Let's get your mantra card for this week and I'll leave you to it, Libra. All right. So your mantra today is, in any moment I can surrender to the powerful presence of love, Libra, through prayer, contemplation and stillness. So there's never a single point in time, Libra, that you feel lost. At any point in time, you're fully aware that you can surrender to your spiritual team and receive guidance from them. You have you have everything that you need all around you right now, Libra. Whatever fear that you have of either not being enough or not, whatever, you know, we can list all the reasons possible, Libra. There's a sense of where it's just like spirit wants you to play big at this time. Do it real big so by the time your birthday comes around, Libra, if it already hasn't happened yet, that you are blowing out your candle and you are becoming a new person because of how big you like lit up, uh, did it up until the moment. I don't know, Libra. I'm really excited about what you're going to accomplish here in the coming days. So I'll leave you to that to it uh, for you, Libra. I apparently can't speak anymore. I love you so much, darling. Hopefully I can connect to you sometime in the near future. All right, Libra. <laughs> Bye.